everybody, what's up and welcome back. And today we're going to talk about the TC Electronics Echo Brain Delay. This is a pretty sweet pedal. It's built like a tank and it sounds pretty good too. So I'm going to get it hooked up here and um, we're going to show you guys what it can do. But first thing I want to talk about, because I always forget to do this when I first doing it, is we're going to show you the knobs. This is a simple layout, three knobs right here. Very simple layout. It's got repeat, time, and mix. That's it. Simple as can be, step on the button, it works. So super awesome. We're gonna get it hooked up and we're gonna let you guys hear some of the sounds. And this thing does some kind of crazy stuff too that I'm gonna kind of mess with just to show you guys what it does. So let me get it hooked up and we're gonna start playing. All right, everybody, we got it all hooked up. We were playing out of the PV Bandit 112. I am playing my PRS 245SE. Um, I love this guitar and uh, you guys will eventually see the review on it down the road. Um, we got the pedal hooked up. Um, first thing we're gonna do is I like to turn everything to noon. When I'm trying things out, I always start at noon, and that's where I like to start at. And then I start turning knobs. So we're gonna kick it on, and that's your noon. spacier and freakier than I like so let's do some dialing down so the first thing we're going to dial down let's dial down the repeats a little bit let's take that down to about say 10 o'clock so that's that's kind of a little bit better maybe we'll dial it down just a little Let's see, let's take down the, let's turn the time up just a little bit, and let's turn the, the mix, take the mix down to about 10. Let's kick it on some distortion and let you hear that. This is set up right now. We've got we've got the um, time at about one o'clock. We've got the mix at about you know ten or eleven, in between ten or eleven, and we've got the um, repeat set at about ten. And this is what we got for right now. And we're gonna kick on some distortion and, and rip out a couple leaves for you. Wow, that's kind of crazy. distortion through a, um, a pedal it's going to be a little different so this is actually the distortion on the amp and it's really good <laughs> crazy spacey effect is what we got going on there so let's let's turn that down a little bit more and see if we can, if we can get a better sound out of this <laughs> Thank you. 
we've got everything turned down to about nine o'clock time mix, and then we got the repeats top turned down. We're gonna turn the repeat up to about the same. So everything's running at about nine o'clock right now. <laughs> So we're going to kick this off, we're going to hook up a DS1 distortion going through the front and let's see what kind of sound we can get with that. Um, I think that might be a little better because I've already played with this some and running the distortion through the front of the amp with the pedal seems to be a better way to do that just so you guys know because um, I have already tested this out a little bit beforehand. So let's get this DS1 distortion hooked up to the front of the amp. Like so. Alright, we're on the clean channel here. Clean channel. So that's the clean channel with a DS1 distortion hooked into it. And it sounds totally different than we were using the distortion on the amp. Can you guys hear that difference? So much better. So yeah, that sounds way, way better like that. So, um... There's one thing that we just learned, um, and I just learned that with you guys making this video, is that using the distortion on the amp and running this through the front of the amp didn't sound really good. So let's take it back up. We're going to take the, the, the rate back up to about 9 o'clock. We're going to take, um, take the time up to about 1 o'clock, and then we're going to take the mix up to about 11. And let's see what we get there without the distortion again. <laughs> distortion in and see what we get. This is DS1 distortion with the pedal on. Let's see what we get now. That sounds a lot, lot better. go I mean this is a really really cool pedal um, obviously running it through the front of the amp like I am now with the DS1 distortion is a better way to go than running this through um, the front and then using your um, amp effects I'm sure you could run it through the looper in the back um, I haven't done that yet I tend to run all my stuff just through the front, the front of the amp I like simple and easy but this actually sounds really good
so that sounds actually really good. I like having a little delay in my distortion when I'm playing, so I'm kind of liking that. And I'm liking that setting. That that setting that we have is, like I said, it's repeat is on at about 9 o'clock. The time is at 1, and the mix is at about, you know, 10, 10.30ish um, on, the, on the knob. And that really just is a pretty... <laughs> sounds like without that on this is what it sounds like and this is with the delay pedal on Pretty pretty cool delay pedal. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the crazy things you can make, sounds you can make with this thing though. And this is something that uh, watching some other reviews that they told you told me to kind of watch out for with this pedal. Spaceship landing. Take it back off. I'm not doing nothing either. I'm not playing nothing. We'll just keep doing this. Just by turning the knobs, it does this weird space sound. Once you hit it forward again, take it out, spaceship landing. Add all I'm doing is turning these knobs differently. Is that not crazy? So, that's one thing that you have to be careful about with this with this pedal is that because it's this analog pedal and I guess the way the circuitry is on it it'll um 
do some weird stuff. So if you're not careful when you when you're playing, you're stopping and starting in your settings. Um, and basically, if you've got that that repeats turned up really far, it starts doing that crazy stuff. So I usually have the repeat knob turned down to about nine o'clock. It's just about a quarter on, and then I have the um, I have the time set to about noon or one o'clock, and then I'll have the mix turned to about eleven o'clock. Um, and that's usually a good setting for me. And that is actually this setting right here that I'm getting ready to, I'm gonna turn it off, I'll turn this on, and we'll play the clear, clear point so you just kind of hear it. So not a whole lot of delay, repeat going on there. It's a pretty simple pedal. It's not complicated. It's not rocket science. It makes some crazy cool sounds and does some nutty stuff. So if you want to do some crazy affecting sounds, you can do that with this pedal by turning crazy knobs when it's on. Um, as you saw, running it through the front of the amp with a Boss DS1 distortion um, sounds really good to me. Um, you guys tell me what you think about this pedal. I mean, this is not a complicated review. It's just a delay pedal. It does what it's supposed to do. It does delay, and you can have as much delay or as little delay as you want, depending on what you like. The one thing that I love about these pedals, and I'm gonna unhook this pedal, is that these things are built like a tank. They're super solid. I mean, this thing is built like a tank. It's very nice. It's got, excuse me, nice little pads on the back, keep it from sliding. You can mount it to your pedal board really easy. I mean, it's just. It's pretty much the same size, about the same size. It's just a hair bigger than a normal Boss pedal, but they're they're pretty close in size. I mean, it might be, you know, just a, a smidgen taller, but I mean, it's about the same size as a normal Boss pedal, and uh, it's just built really well. I love the big knobs on it. I love just how solid it is built, and um, I have the chorus pedal as well, which I've already done a review on. If you guys haven't watched that, you need to check it out as well, and um. Just a really, really, really great pedal. And this is going on one of my pedal boards. I actually have a pedal board that I use for practice and for in the band room and in the studio. And then this is gonna be my gigging pedal board. My gigging pedal board is actually gonna have um, uh, the DS1 distortion. It's gonna have the, the delay and the course on it. And um, I might get an auto wah and stuff. But for me, I'm very much distortion, delay, and chorus guy. And that's it, that's, that's all I need for effects. I do like a little bit of wah and some leads. And I might get an auto wah down the road. Um, I have a Jerry Cantrell wah that I like a lot, but I really like the idea of an auto wah where I don't have to sit there and do the pedal myself. I can set it to where I like the setting, and then it's 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 just step on it and it goes. So I'm gonna start testing those out and see what I think. But I will highly recommend this this pedal. I think it's a great delay pedal. I think the chorus pedal is a great great, great chorus pedal that TC Electronics makes as well. So you should check those out as well and just. Give this a try out. I mean, you can find these things. I bought this one used for uh, 39 bucks. So I got it used for $39. Um, I think um, new, they're around 70 bucks, somewhere in there, $70 or so. I didn't really look at the new ones because I found a used one and I bought it for 39 bucks and jumped on it. And, and this thing doesn't look like somebody's ever even used it, honestly. It looks brand spanking new. It didn't come with a box, but um, um, I'm pretty happy with it. And both of these have their inputs on the front. You've got your, your power input, and then you've got your plug-ins right there. So it's a little bit different than plugging them in on the side. But I kind of like that. So it's a pretty cool pedal. It's very well made, and I definitely highly recommend you checking it out if you're looking for a cool delay pedal. That's kind of fun, and you can do some funky stuff with. So there you guys go. That's my review on it. You guys tell me what you think about the pedal. Um, questions, comments down below. Um, same thing with all my other videos, you know, just leave some questions and comments. I'll be happy to answer them the best way I can. 
you know, I'm not Mr. Super, I know everything when it comes to the music industry or the music stuff. I'm just a guy that loves to play guitar, and I try to do the best reviews that I can for you guys on what I know. So, um, if you guys know something that I don't, feel free to tell me. Um, if I made a mistake with something, feel free to correct me and, and, and point it out, and I'll be happy to, to, to say, hey, look, you know, I didn't know that, or, uh, you know, I made a mistake. Um, I'm very humble in that point, you know. I mean, there's things that I don't know that somebody else may know more about this pedal. So, um, yeah, I'm always down for, you know, somebody, you know, educating me as well. So, um, I make these videos just because I want to try to do a good review of these pedals and stuff that I have. And so you guys can make a better informed decision on whether you want this pedal or not. You know, that's all I'm doing is trying to give you an avenue to research stuff, um, so you can make a better informed decision about the gear that you want to buy. So there you guys go. Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe button, ding dong button, share button, all those things you got to do for YouTube and, um, just stay out there and keep rocking and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.